Hello guys, Codeforge here, welcome in the next video. Today I would like to start a new series about the design patterns in Java. First design pattern on which we will take a closer look is Singleton. It is one of the creational design patterns and it solves two problems. First problem is that we want to make sure that we will have only one instance of the object across our entire application. Second problem which this design pattern solves is that we want to have a global access to this single object. We know why we need this, so let's start with creating a new project. So in the IntelliJ we want to select file, new, and we want to select project. Now over here we want to select Java, don't check these boxes over here and click next. We want to create project from the template and we select command line app. We click next and let's name it singleton pattern YouTube. Okay, we want to open it in the new window and here it is. I will show you three ways of implementing singleton design patterns. So in the first place, let's create a package in the source directory. So we right click over here, we select new package and we will work with the continents. Okay, and inside we want to create a new Java class and the first continent will be Europe. Let's say our Europe continent will have two fields. So first one will be population, which will be the type of int. And the second one will be string and it will be the unit. Now let's generate constructor for those two fields using IntelliJ and let's also generate getters and setters okay so we have a very basic europe class we can create many objects of this class and also objects which we will create will be accessible only from this class where we have created them so now to make sure that we will have the global access to this uh, object and there will be only one instance of it, we have to add additional field. It must be public and static because we want to access it from anywhere in our code and also we want it to be final because we don't want to modify it so we, we want to make sure that no one will modify it accidentally so uh, it will be the type of europe and it will be called instance and all we have to do over here is to say new europe and we want to pass the population which will be 741 and the unit will be million Okay, so as you can see over here, we have the public static final instance, which is the type of Europe. And in this will create the Europe object only once uh, during the runtime of our application. Thanks to the static attribute, this Europe instance will be accessible from anywhere. And because we have the final attribute, uh, it is not possible to change the reference to the different object. It will always point to this Europe object over here. One more thing we have to change is this constructor because right now it is public so it is possible to create a new instances of this class and we don't want to do it so we have to say private. So it can be called only from our class and we are doing it over here. This first way of implementing singleton design pattern and it uses the static final instance field to achieve it. Let's move to the main method and let's try out our new singleton class. Let's try to create this Europe object using the constructor. So we say Europe, Europe, we have to import it, of course. 
and let's say we want to create a new instance of this object and let's say one two three and let's say um million like before and you can see that over here if we check out the error we can see that this uh, constructor has the private access it is and it is not possible to create the object and this is what we want okay so now we are sure that no one will accidentally create a new object but how to actually access this europe object from the, from the main method this is pretty simple all we have to do is to say europe dot instance and basically using this approach we are able to access this field and this field stores the reference to the object which will be created only once so let's make a small experiment we will copy this line we will paste it over here and now we want to make sure that there is only one instance of this object and we can check it out by displaying the hash code of these objects and we can do that by saying system out print line and we'll display the europe object and we'll do the same for the second reference and it is the europe one so now if we run our code so we click the play button and it should be started in a second and yeah over here in the code we can see in the console i mean we can see that we have the same same hash code for both of these uh, references so they are pointing to the same object let's make one more test so we'll display the population for both of them so we say population and we make a space over here and here and we want to get the europe get population and let's also display the unit so we say europe dot get unit and let's copy this like this we'll paste it over here and we'll change the europe to europe one and also the same here and at the beginning let's change the population for the europe reference so we say set population and we will change it to 800 and now if we run our code we can see that the population has been changed for both of the reference so now we are sure that we have uh, only one instance of the object this is the first approach let's move to the another one so we will create new class and this time it will be asia it will be almost the same so we will copy these things from here to here and we will generate constructor and also we will generate getters and setters and we will change the constructor to private you know what guys we should probably change this integer to the double so let's change it it will be double also here and here and here okay and also let's do the same for the europe so instead of integer over here we'll have double same goes here here and here so right now we can put a dot over here so it is more accurate and also we'll put the dot over here in this case we will also need the instance field but this time it will be private so we say private static final asia instance and we want to set it to new asia and it will be 4.463 population and the unit will be a billion this time 
since our instance field is private this time we need a different way to access it and we will use the static factory method so let's create our method under the constructor we'll say public because it must be accessible from the outside we have to use the static keyword because it will be called on the class not on the object and we'll call it get instance and all we have to do is to return our instance field so this is pretty much everything for this class we can move to the main method and do some experiments we want to do exactly the same test which we have done before so we say asia and using this asia get instance static factory method we can access the instance of our object and we'll do the same over here so we have two different references and you know what let's copy those things over here and we'll make some adjustments so here will be asia and also here will be asia one also asia here and here and the last two spots here and here let's try to run it and we can see that we also have the same hash code here and here so let's make the test with the population change so before displaying the population we want to set it to let's say 5.200 and we want to run the code again and we can see that it is the same so we are accessing the same object okay and the last approach is a little bit different because this time we will not use class but the enum so we want to create a new enum and let's say it will be Africa it may be weird for you that we will implement the singleton design pattern using the enum but yes it is possible and you will see it in a moment in the first place we'll copy two fields which we have used before in our classes and it is the population and unit we'll paste them over here and also we will generate getters and setters for them we have to initialize those two properties with some values and it was doubled so it will be 1.216 and this one will be billion last thing we have to do over here is to create a field with the name instance over here and this is pretty much everything so we can move to the main method and do some tests let's paste separator first over here and now let's create africa reference that will point to our singleton object so we say africa equals to and now to access the instance and uh, we want to use the dot notation and after that the instance which we have created here as the field let's create another reference just like before so we say africa1 and we'll do the africa.instance okay so now let's copy those things from here to here and we we'll change this and also this let's run it so we click the play button and over here we can see that we don't have the hash code we have the name of the field but the population is correct but we are not sure that the, this is the same object because there is no hash code and to display the hash code we have to do a small trick so we have to say integer to hex string and inside we want to paste africa dot hash code and we'll copy this and paste it over here and we'll change africa to africa one 
Before running the code again, let's change the population using the Africa reference. So we'll set population and let's say it will be 3.123. Okay, and let's try to run it. So right now we can see that the hash code is exactly the same and if we use the Africa reference to change the population uh, to the different value we can see that, the f uh, that for the second reference it is uh, also changed so we are sure that we are working with the same object. Okay guys, so now you know three different ways of implementing singleton design pattern. I hope it will be useful for you. If you want to see more content, remember about liking the video, subscribing to channel and if you like to, you can drop a comment under the video. See you next time!